Actually, the article makes it very clear, Mr. Cram, that it's uh, people who are followers of yours who have said this. We've made it very clear that Share International would not confirm or deny that Mr. Patel uh, was Maitreya. And in fact, just now, you were a little cagey about that. Why, why won't you just come out and say uh, that Mr. Patel is not Maitreya? Yeah. Look, I have nothing to do with Mr. Patel. I don't mind if he believes or other people believe that he is my prayer. I know for I know about my prayer. The two stories don't click as you seem to think they do. People are looking to Mr. Patel because they're looking for the, for the fulfillment of a story which I've been making for around the world for the last 35 years. A serious story about world change, world regeneration under the inspiration and guidance of a group of, from our point of view, perfected men. Under their master, the master of all the masters, the Lord Maitreya. It's something altogether different and more important than my saying the man is Mr. Patel is this or Mr. Patel. But you had something specific you told me earlier about how that uh, it was not possible for Mr. Patel to be Maitreya based on uh, part of... The age. The age, right? So explain, that, expl explain that a little bit. In 1972, if that is correct, the, the body which Maitreya is living in now was not constructed until 1977. So there are five years difference. Okay, so the so the people who are interpreting five years older than anybody who might be Maitreya could be. Well, people are interpreting the fact that Mr. Patel took a journey from uh, India to London in 1977. People are interpreting that to mean well, then he could be the one. But you're saying they're misinterpreting. No, that's not the one. That, that plane, if you my plane, it was probably two or three hundred people. Are they all Maitreya because they came from India? It's stupid. But you, you see how the people are using that to, to make this claim. Yeah, the people are hysterical and you have stirred them up with this. You have not done me a favor. Well, I think oh, that uh, they were stirred up a little bit done before. The story which I have carefully put out seriously and carefully for 35 years, and which is at the point of culmination and proof, you, you muddy the waters with this story put out in the paper yesterday. Well, well I, I think that like the, uh, the mud... that story, and I will gladly give you an interview and tell you the whole of the story as I understand it to be. And it's at a completely different level from what it would appear from your article. Okay, well, the, our article is about, is in response to the fact that this has already happened. Uh, people have declared that he is Maitreya. People have been uh, contacting him, emailing him, showing up at his events. This is not something that we invented. This is something that really has occurred. Do you understand that, right? I do. That sort of thing occurs always with hysterical people. Okay, so what, what do you say? I make it true. What do you say to these people, though? Give, give me uh, some thoughts to share with uh, the people who are making these um, claims. All right. I have, been putting out, I have been putting the story carefully put out on the Internet and by lecture and by books. I've written some 14 books on the subject, and it has gone on. I've lectured all over the world, east and west, north and south, and told this story to thousands, to millions and millions of people. And anyone who has been following it would understand it as a serious contribution to human knowledge and experience. And what I am saying is that there is coming into the world a group of perfected men, men who began 
Tell me some who some of these have been in history. Uh, was was Jesus Christ uh, one? Was uh... Jesus not Jesus Christ, but Jesus who became the vehicle for the Christ for three years, from the baptism to the crucifixion, is one of these masters now physically present in the world. His base is Rome. In 1975. Five masters came into the world, one into New York, one into Geneva, one into London, one into, into Darjeeling, and one into Tokyo. And very soon afterwards, one into Moscow and one into Rome. The one in Rome is the one who was Jesus of Nazareth, who acted as a vehicle for the consciousness of Maitreya from the, for the last three years of his life. That is from the baptism to the crucifixion. Okay. What, how about some others? Maybe some uh, that are more contemporary. I, one of the, somebody told me, I don't know if this is true, that they thought that perhaps somebody like a Martin Luther King might have been uh, considered one of these, these folks. Okay. Uh, somebody also it's mentioned... a list of disciples like Freud and Jung and, and Einstein and Abraham Lincoln and, and Leonardo da Vinci and Rembrandt and anybody who has significantly affected our, our culture and our, our civilization is a disciple at some level of one or other of the masters. Now you had said to me that uh, you take issue with the description of yourself being described as, as a master, so... Yes, I'm not a master. I'm a disciple okay. of one of the masters. And all the masters are disciples of my trial. So when people refer to you as the master, that is incorrect? Oh, of course it's incorrect. Okay, well that's good to know. So we, uh, we talked about um, how that uh, Mr. Patel has been uh, identified by some people as um, as Maitreya. So, I guess uh, today, what can you say to those people who are saying this? Because Mr. Patel is very concerned about this. He would like this to stop. And I think people will listen to you if you tell them definitively, one way or another, uh, what you think about this. Well, it's not, not my business to do so. Mr. Patel can do so, and I think he's right to deny it, but uh, that's up to him. It's not my business to either confirm or deny it. I leave that to Mr. Patel himself. But you have some strong thoughts about this, though. You think it's, it's not I possible. have strong thoughts about it, where it involves my own work and that of Share International, which is an organization which puts this story into the world. So based on your knowledge, though, what are your thoughts? Your, what is your opinion, at least? About Mr. Mattel? Yes. I only saw him on, on uh, I don't know which tube it was, uh, probably YouTube, uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday. I'd never heard of him before. 